Hi everybody, Basso Contour here. I'm on the Preserve Trails in Pleasanton, California, and I'm going to explain how to place a geocache. Now, this is an example of a good geocaching container right here. You can see it's very solid, it's sort of camouflaged. Now this container here maybe is not so good. It's a, the size is okay, but you notice it seems to be sort of cardboard. So I'm not so sure this is gonna be a good geocache. So this would probably not be considered a really great location. You can see the container is really bright and we've already talked about it. It's sort of cardboard, so that's maybe not such a good idea, but, and, and also somebody might ask, whoops. Now I wanted to demonstrate another technique for placing a geocache. I call this the foot forward technique and it's been very effective and I've got a lot of favorite points on this technique also. So what you want to do is set the geocache down. Take great care and... All right, yay, good placement. Now another good way to get favorite points is to put geocaches as high up in the tree as you possibly can. And I've gone ahead and put one there. You want to put it just to where the limb is about ready to bend and break off and, and that'll maximize the chance of getting a favorite point. Now, I should also mention that you want to hide the geocache so it's camouflaged a little bit. Otherwise, hikers and kids and so on might come by and, and take it. So you want to make it so it's like really, really hard to see. And, uh, well, I don't know. Now, of course, you want to put the geocache in a safe location. You certainly don't want to put it in the middle of poison oak. Um, beehives are a different thing altogether. I've actually had good success in planting geocaches near beehives, or actually in the beehive, and I usually get a favorite point for that. There's one right over here. I'm gonna try placing this one right now. So far, so far so good. Now you want the cache to be sort of hidden really well so that muggles don't see it. And so this would be an example of one that is maybe not camouflaged. Now you want to be very careful that you have the exact coordinates. So when you place the geocache, make sure you get the coordinates exactly correct. I'll give you an example. So for example, if I want to place this geocache, let's give it a try. Uh, that's good enough. Now here's another technique I've used many times, got a lot of favorite points with this. The reviewers never caught on. So suppose you want to get a cache way up in a tree or down a creek or through some poison oak or something like that. Naturally, you don't want to waste your time or risk any injury. So what you want to do is wrap some twine up around your cache, and I call this the sling technique. And you get it going really good like this and then you just give it a really good sling and you try to vault it over the poison oak but if it doesn't quite make it over well okay that's just too bad so let me demonstrate the sling technique here we go one two three yeah <laughs> another great placement wow might be five star difficulty though now for advanced students only i have a new technique which is actually a hybrid technique it combines the best of the sling technique with a technique I call a little cache on the prairie. And I call it that because you have no idea where on the prairie your cache is going to end up. So this is a hybrid technique, advanced students only. Here we go, you ready? First, get the sling going, and then try to loft it as far onto the prairie as you can, hopefully over the poison oak and the beehives. Here we go, ready? Yes! Well, I hope you found this video helpful on the Preserve Trails in Pleasanton, California. Thanks for watching, everybody.